Hello, and welcome to the GM blog update for January the 29th, 2019. And we will be coupling this with the event details of January the 30th, 2019. The GMs have been posting the blog super late lately, so I haven't been able to actually put it out one time since they don't give me enough time to pair them both together or to pair, to pair them separately. So why not just combine them into one nice big package? Uh, I kind of prefer it this way. Also, if you wish to talk to me or uh, get other information that I like to post about uh, the game or anything else and get blog updates and video updates or anything else, uh, you can join my Discord. There's not many of us there, but that makes it kind of intimate, so all of my attention will be on communicating with you. So, let's get into it. Laby's new path is one filled with smiles. The happiest girl arrives tomorrow, talking about second path. Hey adventurers, she's almost here. Actually, she is here. Laby's second path is almost here. She is here though. Are you excited as we are? Yes, because she's here. Great. Here's what's in store for you this week. First up, as with every character launch, we all know that it comes with a special character event, so if you're looking to level up your new Labie, this launch event will quickly make your Labie a force to be reckoned with. Next, we have a PSA for y'all. In case you forgot, Radiant Flower, the Ice Burners, are disappearing tomorrow. In fact, they're already gone. Take advantage of the premium IB tickets to complete your Radiant Flower sets if you haven't already. To replace Radiant Flower, a new Ice Burner set will be coming out tomorrow, Black Mesa. And lastly, as always, we've got plenty of stuff at the item mall for you all to check out. And that's that. Preamble. Uh, let's get directly into the second path launch. The happiest path is just around the corner, and you want to make sure that you're extra happy while leveling up your new Laby. Every 10 levels, plus accomplishing a specific tasks, will give Laby plenty of rewards to keep her afloat as she explores her new world. Rewards like secret manual, cubes, inventory expansion cubes, potions, and mounts, and so much more. Plus, get more consumable rewards daily, like Sage's Magic Stones, Elixirs, and Potions, when you clear dungeons within her level range. So, let's go check that out right now. Alright, Lady's second path, Walk the Path of Smiles. Uh, this is her canon path, if you care about the story, or if you make a, uh, characters to like RP or anything like that, uh, maybe write your own stories. She is the canon path that they have decided for her to take. It's the path that focuses on her and Nisha uh, having a stronger connection with each other. So Nisha will protect Lady, and Lady will protect Nisha, and equal parts of each other. So the first path is called Twinkle Child, second path is called Shining Romantica, and the third path is called Radiant Soul. Laby and Nisha will help so everyone can be happy. And that's about it. Uh, let's also check out her event details. It's basically the exact same event as the first path where it's just a level up chain event quest. It'll be on your event tab and as you complete these objectives you'll get these rewards. They are the same exact rewards as last time. So you have a bunch of refined recovery potions, a bunch of mana elixirs, and the secondary intermediary, intermediary rewards being things like Camilla, Camilla's Secret Manual Select Cube, which you should select advanced because the first two are pretty easy to do on your own as you play the game. L Tree Fruit, uh, Inventory Expansion Card Cube, uh, this is super important, especially if you plan on giving this to like a main character on your account after you've made the lady and she's able to trade. You can put that in the bank share and give that to a character. Uh, Tome of Amnesia, you can get plenty of these in, in, in any other fashion, but getting 20 of those is pretty fine. Uh, these Dimension Master accessory, uh, accessory temporary accessories you can choose from, you can choose two. Uh, these are really good for upping your combat power. Uh, if you want to do some cool stuff with your lady uh, later on in the game. You get a free mount. You get, I think you get three of these. And you can choose ten elixirs each time. So you can get 30 of each set of ten elixirs. So if you wanted uh, two, three sets of uh, Giant's Potion, which is my favorite, you can get 30 giants, uh, free Giant's Potions from this. And they are the upgraded kind, so it's the blessed variety. 
Uh, it seems like they have watched my video <laughs> because they changed the picture for refined magic stones to the actual refined magic stone instead of the sage stone they had last time. Uh, secret and heroic dungeon drop rate metal from last time and guardian. Ah, this title. So I've recently found some information out about this title, uh, along with what it usually does, which is uh, proccing fever at a higher rate and giving you. I think it gives you some decent stat modifiers as well. So, what Fever does at face value is it fills up your beads, uh, your. Let the car pass. It fills up your awakening beads, it fills up your HP to full, and it fills up your MP to full. But what it also does is. Uh, after it procs, when you see the fever appear on screen for 30 seconds, your drop rate will be increased by four times. So let's say you're farming ill tears in the tower or 11-3, uh, the city. When you're about to kill one of the bosses that appear as like sub bosses or mid bosses, uh, they're basically mini bosses at that point. Um, if you proc the fever right before you're about to kill them, you have a 4% or 4 times drop rate, whatever you already have, if you already are augmenting it with ERP or something like that. Uh, all of that will be added together when you kill him, and you have a higher chance of getting tears or whatever else. If you're actually like fighting the end boss and it procs, uh, maybe they'll dro drop a uh, force skill or something like that. So, extremely powerful title. And the more people in the party that have it that can proc it, the easier it is to like have this up and cycle it. Um, you could say just magic stones from here, fusion theory dungeon metal from here, and right here, I'm gonna say something about this. Uh, at the very end, you have to be level 99, second job or higher, to and you also have to clear area not dungeons ten times, super easy. Just do love and 11 one or 11 two. People are always queuing for 11-2, and it's really easy to get it done. Um, you get three free rolls of unique L tiers. Maybe you'll get a good one, maybe not. Just dismantle it, it's fine. And you also get the second path specific event accessory that's permanent. And you, uh, if it's anything like the last one, you can also wardrobe it. So for fashion, I take issue with this because you have to be level 99 to get it. If you were trying to get all three of these, because you know that these are going to come with each path that comes out, you won't be able to do so on the same lady, which means you're going to have to make three ladies every time on whatever account that you're playing on to get access to these uh, event rewards. Because if you have to be at level 99, if you didn't know this, uh, if you want a job change for free, you have to be within a certain level range, I think within like level 50-ish around there. And you have a chance to ch change from second job to another job in the second job range. But since you have to be at level 99, you don't have access to that uh, quest anymore. So you would have to make an entirely new lady, and you can't cheese the system by using it with a base lady because you have to be the second job or higher. And you also can't do it with, uh, you basically can't do it in any other way besides actually caching and changing the one lady into this uh, new job path to get access to this. So I think that's pretty lame for people who don't like to cache and uh, job changing, especially you're going to be third job at that point if you're this high and you've been playing lady for that long, most likely. Um, it's going to be super hard to... Well, that's, it's going to be super expensive to job change because of how expensive it is in the item mall. So I think that's pretty lame, but probably not the end of the world if you know how to game the system. So what you need to do for the next next job path, or not, not the next job path, which is third, the, the third path, is make another lady. Uh, just leave her at level one, I guess. Or I guess you could get her up to like level 30-ish leave her base and just like leave her alone I guess so that it'll be easier to complete all of these because you'll be able to uh, bank share if you have access to bank share I wish they would make that a quest again 
please all these care patches are awesome but to give us back what we had <laughs> to begin with uh, if you didn't know you the job or bank share used to be an actual quest that you could complete for free if you were a non-casher and it was just a thing that the game allowed us to have and then eventually they put it in the item all only and I think that's super duper lame I think any of the best free-to-play MMOs should have an option to either pay or to grind for or to uh, finagle with the community uh, with either caching or trading or anything like that and let people handle it on them on their own um, but they, they took that rip they ripped that option away from us and now you just have to cash if you want bank share and I think that's super lame uh, we need that quest back please along with some other quests that we used to have but it's neither here nor there now but if you want to bank share uh, using the method I just described make a new lady get her to like level 30 I guess or around there leave her at base don't touch her again until the third job comes out or third path comes out and then we're gonna get this same event again and it's gonna last I, I think this is like two weeks so from January the 30th to February the 12th yeah, it's like it's about two weeks you can easily get this done at your own pace and you can get this uh, accessory if you care about this accessory if you don't care about this accessory then it's fine but if you do care about like having an item you'll never get again or you just like uh maybe you'll see somebody dressing up their character and they'll have access to this and you're like oh man i wish i would have got that uh but they let that car pass but they limited my ability to get it and now i can't get it anymore so yeah i just want to let you guys know about that and this is just a daily event it's not really a big deal you get some sage stones and to consumables more or less it's super easy to complete just do dungeons in your, dungeons in your little range free uh, and that's it that's lady second path hope you guys enjoy it um item all goodies out with the old and with the new a new epic ice burner is coming to make you guys look fearsome uh, get ready for your wardrobe upgrade with the Black Mass Ice Burner set comes. They had to change the name. It used to be Black Mesa. KR. They changed it to Black Mass. Or maybe it was always Black Mass. No, it was definitely Black Mesa. Alright, let's take a look at Black Mass or Mesa. Alright, I'm gonna be frank. This is one of the best costumes. Not just ice burn, it's just flat out costumes that each character has access to. From Elsword all the way to late even Lady has one. I didn't think she'd get this ice burner that soon. But yeah, this is an S tier ice burner. Without a doubt. Easily. One of the best IBs. You have the awesome accessories, you got the hat, you got the cloak, you got the hair. You got the top piece, bottom piece, shoes, the weapon looks cool, you got the cool darkness effects around you, kind of like a dark forest from that other ice burner. Yeah, this is super cool. Definitely, definitely a S tier IB. It's going to be super expensive to get as well. <laughs> Lady's mirror looks super cool too. So yeah. Uh, totally down with this ice burner. One of the coolest costumes in the game. And it's gonna last for quite a while. So from the end of this month, January the 30th, all the way to uh, May, or I'm sorry, April the 23rd, 2019. And it also comes with that premium ice burner package. That this used to be uh, Shining Romantica? No, that's, <laughs> let's leave this path. Let's go Radiant Flower. Yeah, they changed Radiant Flower to Black Mass for this event, which is fine. It's the same event as before, exact same. Buy a bunch of Ice Burners, you might get a ticket, use the ticket to get more Ice Burners. The cycle will never die. The saga will continue saga-ing. And then we have the Gloomy Knight costume for Lady. Uh, I think Gloomy Knight's uh, to be... be nice. If the hair wasn't tied to the veil, we could maybe have a conversation, but as a whole, I'm not really feeling it as a costume that can, the pieces would gel with other costumes. 
as a costume as a whole, it looks fine. But I don't think you can use many of the pieces to go with the others. Uh, the mirror itself looks really rad, though. I like the mirror design. Everything else kind of feels like homogenous. You can't really pair it with many other things. It's kind of a kind of a negative. Maybe you can get get by with like the top and bottom piece and pair with other things. Maybe the gloves you can make work. But other everything else just kind of it feels like it should all just stay together. So I got a dock points for that. Uh, she also has the sit from before that everybody had uh, the place of unfulfilled promises and place of radiant memories. So yeah, and I guess that's it. We can also look over the patch notes very quick. Uh, this is stuff we already talked about. Second path is here. Attendance event is still here. Or the second path attendance event is here. Treasure chest enhancement premium ice burner pack is here. Except premium, they should have put premium ice burner has been changed to from radiant flower to black mesa or black mass. That's what they're calling it. A second path pre event. Oh, this of course is over. An attendance event with Lady is also over. Um, they added Ice Burner, a uh, package for Ice Burner, uh, two motions that she had, the two sits that she has. The Gloomy Knight is the costume. Ongoing, all this other stuff is already here. The pet's still here. Uh, Arc Double for Lady is still here. Uh, and Radiant Flowers ended. Okay, small improvements. Magic Wardrobe will now have ED Chef category for costumes, which is a nice quality of life. Fixed Rosso's Calamity Will Elixir will no longer activate Crimson Rose's Frenzy passive effects. Uh, I don't know if this was like super bad or maybe it was a cool neat trick that you could do to like boost your damage I guess, I don't know. But either way they changed that so uh, either very very good or meh or bad, don't really know, unfortunately. Fixed issue with certain attack motions of Chaos Leviathan. It will now match the effects uh, with its hitbox. I don't know if this is a buff or a nerf. It's probably most likely it's a buff, which is fine because he's he's kind of a pushover. Uh, fixed view on other characters' equipment. It will no longer show EXP gained, ED drop rate. It will now show movement speed, jump speed as intended. That's fine. Fixed issue when looking at Lucio's character page. Lucio weapon will no longer say that it's for Lu only. Uh, that's also fine. Just a little error in the text box, the text window. And that's it. That is all. Lady second path from first job all the way to third job is here. We got the new ice burner. The pet's still here. Small quality of life updates. Please give us back the quest to get, you know, a non-cashed bank share. That would be awesome. And that's it. Uh, thank you guys for joining me, and I'll see you guys later. Maybe in, maybe even in game. Peace.